Welcome back to Hunter Dillon's birthday special, everybody. We are now in segment number five, and we're going to play Jeopardy Platinum Edition for the Game Boy. Let's see how we do this game. categories this round are the Bible, TV trivia, killer surprises, travel and tourism, literary potpourri, and finally the 50 states. Uh, Bible for 100. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 23 calls him the champion, the Philistine of Gath. Um, I will say who is David. That's wrong, so just like that, Whammy Incorporated is profiting $100. Was it Goliath? It was indeed Goliath. Oh well. Let's bounce back. Bible for 200 this third gospel is addressed to Theo Theophilus, whose first name means friend to God. This third gospel, uh, who is Luke? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. That's more like it. The Bible for 300. Now I have some cash. Judges chapter 4 verse 4 tells us she was a prophetess as well as a judge. Who is Ruth? <laughs> now we have to give up three hundred more dollars, so that's four hundred dollars going to Whammy Incorporated. Let's see if Mike knows this any better than I do. No, he doesn't. Another $200 going to Wayne Eaton. No, another $300. That's Deborah. Now Wayne Eaton profits $700. This city given to the tribe of Manasseh was the name of a ho was the home of a noted witch. $400 in the Whammy Incorporated bank. Just like that, Whammy Incorporated is profiting $1,100. Endor. Endor. All right. In Genesis, the Euphrates is one of four rivers that flowed from this garden. What is the Garden of Eden? That's more like it. I have cash once again. And we're going to keep going. How about the 50 states 100? This state's first railroad was the White Pass and Yukon Railway, which began running in 1898. What is Alaska? Oh, uh, the 50 states for two. largest body of water is the Harry S. Truman Reservoir. What is Missouri? <laughs> I 
36 to 300. This state has a museum devoted to the works of cowboy artist Charles M. Russell in Great Falls. What is Montana? Uh, the 56 for 400. Daily Double. Let's make it a true Daily Double. Here's the clue in the 56. The USA's largest open pit iron mine lies near Hibbing in the northeast part of this state. What is Minnesota? There we go, and I doubled my money to 1800 Well, not my money, it's Hunter's money. Because he's the one I'm playing for. In 1664, the Duke of York gave this state the name Nova Cesara. What is New York? Another five hundred dollars to Whammy Incorporated's bank, which they now have sixteen hundred dollars from this game. Oh boy! Let's go to Mike. New Jersey. Oh, I should have known. I always get that clue wrong. Oh, well. it's all right. Check it off. Check it off. Let's go. TV trivia for two hundred. He's the problem child among the three chipmunks. Who is Alvin? <laughs> TV trivia for 200. For 100, I mean, sorry. This Red Fox series was based on a British sitcom called Steptoe and Son. What is Sanford and Son? Uh, TV trivia for 300, please. The Flying Nun was set at the convent of San Tanco, Tanco on this island. What is Puerto Rico? That's got to be it. TV Trivia 400. On Sesame Street, this Muppet makes his home in a garbage can. Who is Oscar the Grouch? TV trivia 500. On a, in the 1937 TV special, he turned up married to Zelda Gilroy. <laughs> Doby Gillis. All right. Uh, how about Literary Pope 800? She followed coming of age in Samoa with growing up in New Guinea. Who is uh, Margaret Mead? <laughs> Literary Popery for 200.
In the 1952 book, Dixon Lecter detailed this author's early years in Hannibal, who's Mark Twain. Charles Darney is a nephew of this wicked Marquis de Saint Evremont in this Dickens novel. What is uh, David Copperfield? to Wayne Incorporated, and they're now profiting $1,900 this game. Oh well. I have $2,300 right now. For Hunter. A Tale of Two Cities. Oh, okay. Larry Popery for $400, please. Her gray hair turns almost white when Tom and Becky get lost in the cave. Who's Aunt Polly? Look at all this money I have. A literary pulpery for 500. Christopher Isherwood wrote a famous 1939 novel called Goodbye to This City. Well, another $500 is going to Whammy Incorporated at this time, which they now have $2,400. Whereas I have $2,700, so I'm making a profit so far. Berlin. Goodbye to Berlin. Okay. Pillar Surprises for 100, please. In 1975, this Doonesbury creator won the Pulitzer for editorial cartooning. Who is uh, Gary Trudeau? Pure surprise is 200. Oops. Author and columnist Dave Barry won the 1988 prize for a commentary for this Florida paper. What is the Miami Herald? I meant to pick the $200 clue, but that's okay. Your surprise is 200. The Fate of Liberty, a book about this 19th century president and civil liberties, won a 1992 prize. What is, or who is Abraham Lincoln? Prizes for 400. According to the title, it was the subject of Frank Gilroy's 1964 Pulitzer winning play. What is Roses? The subject was Roses. Pulitzer Prizes for 500. Uh, 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 uh. 
1983, this New York Times columnist won a Pulitzer for his autobiography, Growing Up. Russell Baker, all right. Travel and Tourism 100. It's the main attraction in Pike National Forest. What is Pike's Peak? Salmon Derby is an annual summer event in this state. What is Alaska? Three hundred. This New York City complex contains the GE Building and Radio City Music Hall. What is Rockefeller Center? is in a Lexington horse park in this state. What is Kentucky? country is bisected by the Trans Isthmian Highway. What is Panama? That's going to put me at $5,200 at the end of the round. Mike's in the hole at minus 700, so let's see how he does. It's double jeopardy. Can he bounce back? Let's play. Love for 200. During a trial, this can be raised to oppose the introduction of certain testimony. What is objection? Hey, Tiger. Law for 400. The two major law systems in the Western world are common law and this. It's civil law. All right. Law for 600. Subject to the death penalty in wartime, this crime is grounds for divorce in some states. I think I might have a clue. Desertion. Okay, that wasn't my guess. Alright. Latin for on the face of it, it's evidence accepted as true. Prima facie, prima facie. I don't know how you say it, but either way, that's right. In 1980, it became the first state to pass an anti-stalking law. I'm gonna try this one. I'm gonna try my luck and say what is California. That is 
correct. And let's see what other categories we have remaining. We have abbreviations, British history, music, colors, sport played, abbreviation 200. If you're a card-carrying member of the ACLU, you belong to this type of civil liberties union. What is American? In Wall Street lingo, the Amex is this stock exchange. What is the American Express? Abbreviations for 600. This island group is abbreviated AZO. What are the Azores? Abbreviations 800. This fraction of a Deutschmark is abbreviated PF. What is a Fennig? Abbreviations for a thousand. Answer there the daily double. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 8400. In computer, ROM stands for this kind of memory. What is read only? Read only memory. Good thing I did it. $16,800. British history for 200 In 1979, this person replaced James Callahan as Prime Minister. Who's Margaret Thatcher? British History 400? Britain's first one lasted from 1642 to 46, about the same length as ours from 1861 to 65. What is the Civil War? British history for 600. The famous charge of the Light Brigade took place during this war. Uh, what is the charge of the Light Brigade? I'm going to say what is the American Revolution? more going away me incorporated and so far from this game alone they are profiting three thousand dollars as far as i have sixteen thousand eight hundred of those dollars all right the crimean war oh okay all right the other daily double I don't know too much about British history, so I'm going to play it safe and wager no money. 
While governor of New South Wales, he was imprisoned in 1808 for trying to stop the rum trade. Don't know. William Bly. William Bly, but I'd lose no money, so... Wamey Incorporated will receive no money from this for that incorrect response. Henry II, the first in this line of English kings, raised over a thousand unlicensed castles. The Plantagenets. Alright. However you say it. Mike gets it right. He's got $900. We go to the next clue. Music 200. Miles Davis said of him, You know you can't play anything on the horn that Louis hasn't played. Who's Louis Armstrong? Music for 400. I have $17,000 for Hunter at this point in the game. This deep male singing voice is spelled the same as a fish, but it's pronounced differently. What is a bass? Music for 600. Several opera scores by this Italian rival of Mozart were discovered in 88 in Czechoslovakia. I might have a clue who this could be, but I'm just going to hold back. If I were to guess, I'd say Antonio Soleri. Or Antonio Soleri. I'd say the last name is Soleri. Oh, and I would have been right. Antonio Soleri. Oh, well. Colors 200. In Italian, this metallic color is Oro. Oro. Uh, metallic color, what is gold? Let's go back to music for 800, please. Here we go. This percussion instrument that resembles a xylophone is the Guatemalan national instrument. That resembles a xylophone? What is a marimba? Uh, music for 1,000. Born in Bombay in 1936, he won the 1958 Liverpool International Conductors Competition. Try saying that 10 times fast. I won't either. <laughs> well, there's another $1,000 going to Whammy Incorporated. So now Whammy Inc. is profiting $4,000. Too bad. Zubin Meta. All right, colors four hundred. As a solid, sulfur is this color. Might have a clue what this could be, but I'm not sure. It's yellow. Alright. The name of this light brownish color comes from the same root as tan. is a slang term for cowardly. What is yellow? <laughs> Colors for a thousand. For nineteen thousand dollars. 
part at this point. This woolen cloth named for a dull color is used to make uniforms. have one category left. Michael Chang, Boris Becker, Gabriella Sabatini. I believe they all play tennis. So what is tennis? Four hundred. Should be okay this category. Barry Sanders, Jim McMahon, Eric Dickerson. What is football? Six hundred. James Worthy, Carl Malone, Isaiah Thomas. What is, um, I'm between two of them. I'll say, what is baseball? Oh, it's the other one. Uh, darn. So I have to give up $600 to Whammy Incorporated. I'm trying to get up to at least $20,000 for Hunter. Is it basketball? Yeah, it is basketball. Oh well. It's okay. Not worried. Cecil Fielder, Roger Clemens, Dennis Eckersley. Now is the time for baseball. That's okay. I should have said basketball earlier, but that's okay. Now the last clip. Betsy King, Beth Daniel, Patty Sheehan. What is golf? $21,000. Final Jeopardy. The category is AR. You know what? I'm gonna roll. What is golf? So Hunter's gonna get forty-two thousand dollars this game. Yep. Let's write that down. That Hunter gets forty-two grand. Right after this, we'll be right back.